First of all, probably don't pass over Brian Cranston for Jesse Eisenberg. This is not Lex Luthor. Or as Kevin Conroy pronounces it, Luthor. Now apart from that, I'm keeping very little story elements from the film because that was garbage. You cannot launch a Batman franchise with an old, retired, embittered Batfleck. Also, it was a very poor job portraying Batman as so ruined by time that he is now homicidal. If he'd finally become broken, then he'd be full-on fuck-off crazy, which would be a very interesting story, but not the one we're telling here. Instead, I'll use the Batman of the Arkham franchise. Seasoned, but not retired, in his early 40s, and only just starting to feel the effects of his lifestyle on his body. Superman is also no longer having internal crisis about his purpose. That was dealt with in the previous film. He is certain he is Superman, the noble arbiter of responsibility. Now, I will keep Superman's suspicions of the Batman. His methods are criminal, even if he doesn't murder, death, kill people. In turn, Batman will be suspicious of Superman. Time for me to reveal my secret identity. Uh, oh, fuck, my shoulders. Damn it. That's right. It was me all along, but not to the monocular extent he was in the film. You never cause collateral damage in your time as masked thug Batman? Yeah, intention matters. And Batman, the real one, knows that. Superman is clearly here to do good. But let's find out what that means. Meantime, we have Luther, who, while finding and obtaining kryptonite, also discovers a mother box. Now, this is what I thought his motivation was after watching the film. Though upon reflection, I realized that wasn't the case at all. Who knows why the fuck he did anything? The mother box reveals to Luther the existence of Darkseid, a cosmic predatory deity, and it drives him mad. None of this is on screen. It is slowly revealed through Luther's meetings with Batman and others, where he implies, insists, and then eventually outright states they must kill Superman. In order to prepare themselves for deicide, they must commit deicide. Destroying Superman is a good warm-up for destroying Darkseid. And also, as Luther has only so recently learned, things from outer space Bad. Batman will outright refuse Luther, suspecting that Superman is in fact not a threat, and only accepting the invitation to this party so he could steal the kryptonite, just in case Superman becomes a threat. You know, cuz he's Batman. Also, he meets Wonder Woman and, you know, they exchange emails and possibly secret identities. However, persons who accept the job of Superside include Deathstroke the Terminator, and the Joker. Luther will have conducted those meetings already, so they'll both have kryptonite. Superman, who'll spend his time with Lois Lane investigating the Batman, becoming more and more appalled at the contrast between himself and this thug, and Deathstroke will fight a couple times, and eventually Slade will get Superman to his knees with the kryptonite, at which point Batman will swoop in and just buy off Deathstroke. You're just working for money? Here's a hundred million dollars! Get out of here! And then Deathstroke will be on you got rich friends. Yes, whatever. Don't leave town. Now that's not an arbitrary statement from Wado Batmanius. Thanks to information he stole from Luther while lifting the kryptonite, Batman knows there's a rather sizable chunk of kryptonite entering Earth's orbit. But it's not the only thing encased in the rock. Meanwhile, Superman's like, no one man should have all that power. And Batman retorts, you know they wanted me to kill you. Do I have to do that? You think yourself the arbiter of justice? I've seen what you do. Well, right back at you, man of collateral damage. Someone must stem the tide, because the world is apparently full of dangerous freaks. You have to stop. Contemptuous stare of consideration from Batman before he turns and leaves. Take that, Superman, you massive faggot. All subtext. I assume Batman would play that psychological game. Square that with your Jesus allegory, Superman. Superman's a little better than Jesus. Jesus was a jingoistic cunt. You don't see Superman going, sorry, can't help you unless you're a space alien. In fact, he's kind of the opposite of Jesus. If you're from space, we're gonna fight. Fighting round the world. That's what my dad taught me. Batman will return to Alfred and explain that due to Superman's impetuousness and the fact that his godhood has gone to his head, they will inevitably fight. Next time I shine the bat symbol, he will come for me.
I'm gonna need a montage, Alfred. Meanwhile, Luther is obtaining the rock entering Earth's orbit, and we get to see a visage encapsulated in the mineral. And it's doomsday, to the surprise of no one. The amount of officials you have to bribe slash threaten in order to get that job. What's that, Luther? You wanna get some space rock? I don't know, man. That doesn't seem like private enterprise to me. Oh, look, money! Then Jim Gordon, because you put J.K. Simmons in as much as you possibly can, flies the bat signal! And it's on. Batman tries to hastily get the information out of Gordon, who gets as far as the Joker, before Superman makes himself known. Kaboom, bam, smash, they fight. Batman retreats to the Batmobile, where he is decked out in a Frank Miller reference. Superman punches the side of the car and rolls it about 40 times into the air, while Batman is being outfitted for super combat. He emerges from the car, which is not totaled, looking menacing. Same contemptuous stare. They fight for much longer than 10 minutes, trading a Tendency, though Batman is clearly prepared for most everything, and Superman, whom I build as the villain because he's odds-on favorite to win, only really seems like an unstoppable force getting more and more pissed off. Child. When Batman finally kryptonites him into submission, there's an opportunity to reference Frank Miller again. I want you to know I beat you. When Gordon comes running into the scene yelling, it's the Joker, he's got Martha. Dare I? Dare I get anywhere near this absolute shitfire that caused me to go at the movies? Yes, because it is a useful moment of reconciliation. It's just executed like garbage in the film. Batman can now see past Superman's godhood to his human fragility, offers him a hand and says, Come with me. I will show you why it is I do what I do. Superman, with no other moves on the table, and frankly bigger problems than his moral conflict with the Batman, accepts the hand after calculated hesitation. And that's when they start being buddy cops. Come on, Superman, get in the car. I can fly. I mean, I can just find her with my x-ray vision and super hearing. No, no, it's a trap. That's what he wants. Get in the car. And while they're in the car, Batman will email a friend for some backup. Then they pull up to the Joker fight. It's out in the open. Martha's tied to a chair, and Mr. J is just standing there watching the Batmobile pull up. This confuses and vexes him as Batman alone steps from the car. Somebody told me you guys weren't friends. We've known each other a lot longer, and now you're gonna take his side? Joker then shoots Martha in the somewhere non-lethal. Batman moves to intercept, but Superman has lost his shit and smashes out of the Batmobile toward the Joker. Harley Quinn is then revealed to be a good distance away, staring down the scope of a sniper rifle and blowing a huge bubble of bubblegum. We look down the sights to see Superman is about to get shot the fuck up with super special kryptonite bullets. Just as HQ pulls the trigger, her rifle is pushed askew by Wonder Woman! But through the magic of cinema, the bullet clips Superman. Superman is mildly affected by the kryptonite, and the Joker signals the rest of his crew to reveal themselves and open fire. He himself unloading the rest of his clip at Not-So-Superman. Batman Batmans the fuck out of the line of fire and starts Batmaning the goons. While Superman, filled with ire, continues to trudge, damaged but not fatally, towards Mr. J. The Joker cackles and just keeps firing until Superman grabs his gun and throws one very pissed off punch into the clown's face. Then we see more shots of Batman fucking up the goons and Harley Quinn just basically doing her best to avoid the punches of Wonder Woman until she's wrapped up by the lesser. The Joker, who is still cackling, is getting his face punched in by an irate Superman whose strength is slowly returning. When he's about to deliver the finishing blow and go 2-0, and oh, Batman puts one heavily armored hand on his shoulder. There's limits, even for him. And there you go. There's Superman's moment of understanding the Batman. Then Wonder Woman comes over, assisting Martha, who got it in the leg, let's say. Another woman the Joker has put in a wheelchair. Superman does the whole hug, are you okay deal, then turns to Wonder Woman. Who are you? Amazonian demigod. Then she stares at Superman, asking him the same question. He shrugs and says, Space alien. Then they both turn to Batman. I've got money. Meanwhile, Luther, who has been watching through cameras presumably the Joker set up, is not surprised at this failure. For it will take a god to kill a god. And rather than let Superman fight Darkseid, he'd rather use Doomsday. Because, it turns out, it's programmable. So, having already written the kill Superman code, Luther, still staring at Superman through the screen, 
pushes enter. Massive power surge that attracts the attention of everybody. Doomsday fucks up LexCorp. And off go the super best friends to save the day, leaving Martha with Lois and forgetting about the Joker. Batman also makes another call, this time to Deathstroke, and is all, come help us kill Doomsday for money. And then they all fight Doomsday. And that goes on for a while. No nukes are ever employed, because that is fucking stupid, until Batman realizes they have to use kryptonite to kill it. Deathstroke and Wonder Woman pin down Doomsday, Superman punches him in the face to distract him while Batman gets in close and sticks him with the lance he was going to use on Superman. Then Superman drives the lance home with the American punch of freedom. And then Doomsday collapses and detonates so they're all blown clear. Now I would end the conflict there, maybe even before the detonation, but I suspect the studio wants Superman dead. So everybody's standing a considerable distance from each other, looking exhausted but proud of their teamwork, maybe not Deathstroke, when the Joker appears behind Superman and runs him through with kryptonite, and then Batman screams, "No!" in the most bromantic way possible. Or Doomsday runs him through like they did in the movie. I don't know. I wouldn't kill Superman. Not yet. They just had this great moment of understanding and team building. Luther is arrested and says what I thought was a pretty good line. The bell cannot be unrung. He is coming. Darkseid is coming. I hate the pronouns game. Then Batman and Wonder Woman explain to Superman there's others and we need to recruit them. Roll credits. No post credit scene. Now you can stick the footage of the other metahumans and the Earth 2 scene anywhere before the third act in this script. And there you go. Better Batman vs Superman. Some guy's trying to record something.